Can you prove this trig identity? Let's learn how to solve it together. So here we've got a trig identity. It says tan squared x plus one is equal to secant squared x. Now the whole premise of proving trig identities is to get the left hand side to equal the right hand side. So a trick that I teach my students right from the beginning is that generally you want to write everything in terms of sine and cos. And you'll actually see that this trig identity has no sine and no cos. So let's change that. On the left hand side, we have tan. And remember the quotient identity, tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Well, this means that I can write tan squared x as sine squared x over cos squared x. And if I do that, I get this line sine squared x over cos squared x plus one. Now, if I want to rewrite the right hand side, you'll see that secant is just a reciprocal. So I can use a reciprocal identity. Secant is the reciprocal of cos, which means it's one over cos. And this means that secant squared x is one over cos squared x. And so now I've finished what I generally consider the first step, and that is to turn everything into sine and cos. But I still have these pesky ones. On the left, I'm adding a one, but on the right, the one's in the numerator. So how do I equate that? Well, let me simplify the left-hand side by getting a common denominator between the two things I need to add. And you might be wondering, well, what's the common denominator between cos squared x and one? Well, it's just cos squared x. Remember, anything divided by itself is just one. So I can rewrite one as cos squared x over cos squared x. Now that the denominators are the same, I can add across the top. So sine squared x over cos squared x plus cos squared x over cos squared x is sine squared x plus cos squared x all over cos squared x. Now, believe it or not, I'm almost solved. And the reason is because of the Pythagorean identity. It says that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. And if you look, you'll notice that sine squared x plus cos squared x is the numerator. And this means the numerator on the left-hand side is just equal to one. And what do you know? The left-hand side equals the right-hand side. And we've proven this trig identity. Were you able to solve this one on your own? Let me know in the comments.